for the speech, ayy. Be smelt with that heat. I get the bag with my niggas. I got the bag of my niggas. I'm from Zimbabwe, uh, was born in Mutare. Basically, I grew up as a only child with my mom till I, till I was about 13. And what she used to tell me was that I actually would rummage into the cupboards and everything, looking for pots and pans, and take the little spoons and stuff and start playing drums. The most definite thing was when I was in church with my family and the drummer didn't show up. Um, so I just thought to myself, yeah, I might as well just go and try it. This is something that I've been kind of interested in. And I went there, I played. First time, obviously, I was <laughs> not that good. Um, but after that, I realized that I did have a passion for something musical, not necessarily production, but um, something to do with music. And I took on drum, drum kit lessons after that. So after I started taking up drums, um, I got involved in the orchestra, the band at high school, jazz band, orchestra, wind band, and that was nice for a while, but I actually realized that I was more into the actual process and then the production side of it after analyzing everything that we would do at shows. At that point, I had been playing drums for about five, six years. And I just felt that I needed to take my music career, not music career, but my musical interest in another direction. And that's how I got into production, mainly beat making. And how that actually came about was we had mentors and mentees at high school and he had his laptop, which had Fruity Loops on it, which is a you know general music production software that people use. Um, so I started making beats on that when I was about 15, 16. And after making my first couple of beats about the first first year or so I realized that this is something that I'd like to do as a career. Um, before then I actually wanted to be a lawyer but then as soon as all the music started coming um, I just realized that I wanted to do music full time and that led to me making beats um, online and everything. The first time that I decided to put up my beats online and give them to people, people were like uh, yo this is actually this is actually good you should take this seriously and that just gave me a further push. And via posting my beats online, one of my friends actually messaged me and showed me the Empower advert that I saw on Instagram. And he was like, yo, why don't you, why don't you submit for this? And I thought, hey, since I'm a producer, these guys are looking for artists. Um, I don't think I'll have a chance to get in. And I literally submitted on the last day. And a couple of days later, then I found out that I made the top 100, which was a crazy, a crazy, crazy feeling. So after I had submitted my video for the top 100, which I got in, which was a thrill, I got a call informing me that I was selected as part of the top 10. And that was absolutely crazy. I couldn't believe that. 